guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So it is 2019, which means it's time for an updated game room tour video. So last year in 2018, it was my first year on YouTube, and my very first video was actually a game room tour video. So as you guys may have seen in some of my previous videos, I've had some great pickups over the last year. I've added some great items to my collection. So today we're gonna check out my gaming rooms and gaming setups where I have over 4,000 video games, over 200 different consoles and handheld systems, including variants. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first we will check out this main wall in my video game room. You'll notice that I have tons of different boxes on display on top of these bookshelves and all of these items are actually complete whether I have the matching console or game displayed somewhere else in my collection or whether it's inside that box that you actually see on top. You'll see on this top shelf that I have a Sears Tele Games Video Arcade and Video Arcade 2 Star Raiders game. We have the Magnavox Odyssey 2, Telestar Colortron with four video games in color. The Magnavox Odyssey is hiding behind the Super Nintendo Classic and the Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo in the large box. We also have Earthbound in the big box which is complete with the strategy guide and these scratch and sniff cards which are pretty difficult to find in pristine condition. I have the Nintendo Entertainment System Action Set Box, the Nintendo Double Player Wireless Head-to-Head -head System which are the controllers that go for the original Nintendo, the NES Classic. As I move on over I have the Super Nintendo Killer Instinct Set I also have this Nintendo 64 Lite, which has the complete and original box. I also have a Super Nintendo controller at the top there, lethal enforcers for the Sega CD, some more Sega items. I have the Sega Activator, which is a full body controller, complete in that large box. I also have an Atari 2600 with the factory reconditioned box and matching console, a Dreamcast, the ultimate sports gaming system, that is the Sega Sports Edition, the Nintendo 64 Pokemon Stadium Battle Set, there is a Sega CD Game Gun box which includes two games, Super Pong which has four games, the Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind which is the collector's edition for the PC, and I actually won that from my local radio station, 98 Rock Baltimore. I have the Telestar Alpha with four video games, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Silent Scoop, Light Rifle for the original Xbox. I have the Halo Xbox and the Virtual Cop Special Pack, which includes Virtual Cop 1, Virtual Cop 2, and House of the Dead. So next we move on to this main wall right here we have these bookcases and tons of different shelves where I've added a couple different shelves on the bookcases over the past year to go ahead and add some of the games that I picked up
So on this top shelf, you'll see that I have some Sears Tele games, an Atari 2600 game, and some Intellivision games. And I chose a couple to display. You'll see that we have Stampede, Spider-Man, and Chopper Command. And then behind those games, I have tons of other great games. We have Burger Time, Snafu, Sub Hunt, Space Armada, Space Battle, Mazatron, Sea Battle, Deadly Disc, Lock and Chase, Centipede, Defender, and some Sesame Street games. And then on this next shelf, you'll notice that we have some Japanese exclusives right here. We have this Watermelon and Clear, Ice Blue and Clear Nintendo 64 variants, along with this Mario Kart 64 game that includes the special Japanese variant of the controller which is black on top and gray on the bottom. And then we move on to this shelf right here where I accent with Spider-Man. We have the Spider-Man for the PS4 Collector's Edition statue in the middle. And then on each side you'll notice that I have Maximum Carnage and Separation Anxiety for the Sega Genesis. And of course we have Contra Hardcore and Turtles the Hyperstone Heist in front. If we move these items out of the way, you'll notice that we have tons of other great games for the Sega Genesis behind them. We have Slaughter Sport, Wonder Boy, and Monster World, Awesome Possum, Dynamite Heady, some X-Men games, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tournament Fighters, The Hulk, Spider-Man, Captain America, Wolverine, Spider-Man and X-Men, Mortal Kombat, Robocop, Sonic Mania, which are actually repro cases for the new Sonic Mania game that released for the Nintendo Switch. And then onto this next shelf right here, we have this PlayStation 2 Chainsaw Controller for Resident Evil 4. And this is a special limited edition controller, which I still have sealed. And it's actually numbered out of 50,000 units, so there is a very limited quantity of these controllers. We also have this teal Game Boy Color, and we even have this teal GameCube, which is actually an NR Reader GameCube, which is part of the GameCube development. So this one does not actually play actual GameCube games, but it does play ones that were part of the development for the GameCube. And then we move on to one of my Sega Saturn shelf. You'll see that I have a couple games on display. We have D, Three Dirty Dwarves, and Die Hard Arcade. And then behind these games you'll actually see several more Sega Saturn games. You'll see Virtual On, High Octane, The Lost World Jurassic Park, Bug, the Mansion of Hidden Souls, Tomb Raider, Grid Runner, Brain Dead 13, some sports games, Clockwork, Night 2, Fighting Vipers, Johnny Bazooka, Golden Axe, Skeleton Warriors, Virtual Fighter Kids, Virtual Cop, and Virtual Fighter. And then if we drop down to the second to last shelf on this first bookcase, you'll notice that I have two more variants of the Nintendo 64 which we have the Korean Hyundai Comboy release with two matching Korean Hyundai Comboy controllers. And then on the right you'll notice that I have the Japanese ANA Limited Edition N64. And in the middle you'll see that I have the Video Game Preserver cases for the Nintendo 64 and that is complete in the box. And then this very last shelf, you'll notice that I have a special Street Fighter 4 limited edition fight stick. And this is to commemorate 20 years of Street Fighter. And this is for the Xbox 360. So we have this special limited edition Femme Fatale fight stick. And there's only 650 that were made. And then on to the top of this middle bookshelf, we have a couple games on display. You'll see to the left that we have the Japanese variant of Super Smash Brothers complete in the box. 
And on the right, you'll see that we have Super Mario 64, and this is the Japanese variant. And then in the middle, you'll notice that this is actually new. We have this Nintendo 64 Conker's Bad Fur Day press kit, which when we open up this press kit, you'll see that we have the Conker's Bad Fur Day video game for the Nintendo 64. You'll see a little pill bottle that actually includes jelly beans and it says Conker's Bad Fur Day on there. There's actually a t-shirt included where it has Conker and his head in the toilet and there's even a letter right there and you'll see a spot that's missing that's shaped like a VHS tape which I actually do not have that. So this is actually a incomplete Conker's Bad Fur Day press kit so I'll be looking for a replacement VHS tape that shows the gameplay. And then behind all of those Nintendo 64 items, I actually have tons of Panasonic 3DO games. These ones are actually my complete games that include the jewel cases along with the cardboard boxes. So you'll see that I have tons including Crime Patrol, Road Rash, Quarantine, a Mercenary, Shockwave, Gex, Monster Manor, and tons of sports games. And then on to one of my favorite shelves, which has two Pokemon comics in the back, some figures, is the Australian Pokemon Battle Station, and below we have the Nintendo 64 DD. And then this middle shelf, we have Rob the Robot, and we actually have the American variant, along with the smaller Amiibo. And we even have the Famicom, variant which is Rob on the right side with that red color and we have the matching amiibo for that an older style Mario doll and the Famicom that he is actually standing on we have a Mario teaches typing game in the back with some Mario artist games which go for the Nintendo 64 DD we have tons of Pikachu items we have the two Nintendo 64 Japanese variants of the Hey You Pikachu Nintendo 64s and the matching controllers. We have two more Pokemon comics in the back. One is even the electric tail of Pikachu. We also have Hey You Pikachu. That includes the game, the voice recognition unit, and microphone. A Pokemon pinball Game Boy Color game complete in the box. And then even more Pikachu and Pokemon items, we actually have the American variant of the Pokemon slash Pikachu N64. On the left side, you'll notice that we have the yellow Pokemon Game Boy Color variant, which has Pikachu, Jigglypuff, and Togepi on the front, along with the Pokeball. You'll see behind there that we have the Japanese game of Hey You Pikachu, which was actually included with the Japanese ANA where they gave out that game and that special edition Nintendo 64 that you saw earlier. Behind the Nintendo 64 you'll see that we have a Pokemon figure which has Ash and Pikachu and then on the right you'll notice that we have a special silver Game Boy which also has various Pokemon on there and then behind there you'll notice that we have Another Pokemon Nintendo 64 game, which is in the large box bundle, and it's also Japanese. And that was also included with the giveaway. And on to this bottom shelf, you'll notice that we have a Marvel vs. Capcom fight stick for the PlayStation 3. And it's complete in the box. And then you'll notice that we have this special collector's edition statue of Ryu. And this was the... Street Fighter for the PlayStation 4. We're starting at the top here. You'll notice that I have some more Intellivision games. We have Pitfall, Super Cobra, and Pinball, which were on display. You'll see that we have tons of sports games. Horse racing, Space Hawk, NFL football, bowling, Major League Baseball, auto racing, NHL hockey, boxing, tennis, PGA golf. NBA Basketball, Space Battle, Astro Smash, Checkers, Bowling, and Star Striker. And then on this shelf, you'll notice two more Japanese Nintendo 64 variants. We have the Jusco, which is the smoke gray on top and clear on the bottom. 
and the Die Hawks, which is fire orange on top and a black color on the bottom. We also have a Japanese Nintendo 64 complete in box game. And we have Mewtwo. We have Batman in front, along with a Batman Forever and Batman Returns Sega Genesis games. We even have Superman off to the left and Rocket Knight Adventures to the right. You'll see that we have Crackdown, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Mortal Kombat 3, Alien 3, Techno Cop, T2, Mortal Kombat 2, Jurassic Park, Clay Fighter, Eternal Champions, Taz, and Street Fighter. The Spice Orange Nintendo GameCube, which is a Japanese variant. Japanese Spice Orange Nintendo Game Boy Advance handheld. And we also have this Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Controller, which is for the Nintendo GameCube. We have some games on display. We have Enemy Zero for the Sega Saturn. We have Final Fight CD for the Sega CD and Resident Evil for the Sega Saturn. We have Virtual Cop, Virtual Cop 2, Scud, Corpse Killer, Worldwide Soccer, X-Men, Skeleton Warriors, Pandemonium, Primal Rage, Iron Storm, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Bubble Bobble, Insta Move 2, some Madden NFL 97, some Power Ranger, Batman and Robin, Star Wars, Rebel Assault, Eternal Champions, Sonic CD, a basic charcoal gray Nintendo 64 with two charcoal gray matching controllers. Have another Nintendo 64 video game preserver. Have a custom Zelda Nintendo 64 along with two Japanese Nintendo 64 controllers. Jeffrey Toys R Us controller and the Hello Mac. And then on this bottom shelf we have another fight stick for the PlayStation 3. This is the Fight Stick Pro. And it's Street Fighter vs. Tekken. And we move on to this corner right here. Off of my main wall in the game room. So you'll notice that we have some Street Fighter control pads right here. This is actually the complete set. And these are to commemorate Street Fighter for the 15th year. And we even have this Street Fighter 4. And this is a Comic-Con exclusive from 2009. This is Guile. And it's actually signed by the voice actor himself. So it says Sonic Boom. And then I have tons of Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Advances, and Game Boy Pockets over here. And tons of different variants. So to name a few, we have the Tommy Hilfiger Special Game Boy Color. The Tamagotchi and Hello Kitty for the Game Boy Pocket. The Game Boy Advance, we have Hello Kitty. We have this special ANA, Japanese exclusive of the Game Boy Color. This Ozzy Ozzy Ozzy, which is the Australian variant of this Game Boy Color. Even have this Extreme Green Game Boy Pocket. This, the King of Fighters EX Neo Blood, which is a Japanese exclusive of the Game Boy Advance. You'll notice that I have this Final Fantasy X2 controllers right here, which are the Uni Guns. So those are actual controllers that you can use for the PlayStation 2 while you play that game. And then over here you'll see that I have tons of Nintendo Wii games, which are a little bit more difficult to get to. And it's actually a couple different stacks to go ahead and try and save some space in this room here. So if I want to get to the Nintendo Wii games, I actually have to move out all of these items right here just to get to them. Then you'll notice that this bookshelf is strictly Batman figures. So I have the DC Comics Designer Series Greg Capullo complete set of figures and these Batman Arkham Knight figures. Next up, you'll see this section of my video game room. Now, I usually don't show off this section very often because there's a huge window on this wall. There's not much for video game storage on this wall right here. So, we have this couch right here. It's actually really comfortable. 
And I have this Nintendo 64 blanket draped across the couch. So even the blanket is video game related. I recently added this to my collection and it's really soft. So that's a huge bonus. And then you'll notice that there are some storage bins under this couch right here. So on this side we have tons of Skylanders, light guns, different controllers, different attachments that I don't use every day. There's also tons of retro video game consoles under here as well. Ones that I just don't have a spot for in my collection. I'm working on trying to display some of these and get some videos on them, get them going, get them powered up and play some games for them. And then on this side I have tons of storage bins where I have Super Nintendo games, Nintendo games, just some sports games and other ones that I'm not going to play too often. And I also have tons of Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, Game Boy Advance, Sega Game Gear games, Atari Lynx games, and just other handheld games. So I won't be getting to those for this game room tour. I'll have to do a separate video where I pull out a lot of my handheld systems and games so I can go ahead and talk about those. I also have an excess of handhelds under here as well just to help with storage. And then I'll get a updated shot of this section that you see in front of me here. This is my main gaming setup where I have tons of different controllers on here. And then each of these cubes actually has tons of controllers in them. And then of course I worked my way on over to this section right here. This is what I call my Nintendo Corner. So you'll see that we have this Nintendo Neon sign up at the top. So I have all of the Amiibos starting at the top and they actually go all the way down the wall behind this Wii U kiosk that I got from GameStop. Then you'll notice that I have tons of standees right here and tons more box sets of the Nintendo Amiibos. We have this Wii U that works in this Wii U kiosk. We have some Fox Data Nintendo 64 controllers right here and tons of Amiibos on this wall as well. And once again they go all the way down the wall and hidden in this corner we have this Amiibo kiosk. Now this one was also from GameStop and it has quite a few opened Amiibos in there and it's fully functioning. And then if I step on over to this side, you'll notice that I have some more Nintendo 64s in my collection. This is actually the full set of the Fantastic Colors, the North American ones. We have Watermelon, Fire Orange, Jungle Green, Ice Blue, Grape, and the Smoke Gray. And then up top we have this gold Nintendo 64. So here you'll notice that this bottom part swings open with the key right there. So this is where you'll notice that I keep all of my Nintendo Switch games in here. And then behind this row of Nintendo Switch games, I actually have several Wii U games. And then as we go ahead and drop down, there are tons of extra controllers in here that I store. So I have several GameCube. Nintendo 64 and Wii U controllers. We have the Mass Effect Andromeda display right here on top of these two display cases which house my Chrome Series Fox Data controllers and console which once again I paid $1800 for to add to my collection and complete the console variants for the Nintendo 64. Then as we lower, you'll see this NES Sharp TV, which has a built-in Nintendo system into this TV. So you don't have to actually hook up a Nintendo system to this TV. It has one already built in. 
So you just put the cartridges in here, just turn on the TV, press the game mode, and you are playing the Nintendo. And then we have several figures right here. We have some Assassin's Creed, Spyro, Mario Rabbids, some Funko Pops with Jill Valentine, Lara Croft, Cammy, Chun-Li, we have Katana. You'll notice that there are two Nintendo game holders which hold tons of different cartridges in there. And outside we have the Nintendo Power Glove, two original Game Boys, one of which is a Korean variant. And we have these rose-colored gaming stands for all of the Pokemon cartridge games. You'll actually see some more figures here. We have another Assassin's Creed figure along with Far Cry. And we even have this Mighty Number no. 9 figure. So next up you'll see this corner right here where I have tons of video game characters, collector's editions, statues, and figures that are all related to video games right here so we have the PlayStation 2 neon sign which is actually one of my favorites in my collection I even have the original shipping box for it and then you'll see that we have some PlayStation related items right below that neon sign so as you can tell I have tons of light gun games right below of course we have Time Crisis, Crisis Zone, Ninja Assault, and Point Blank 2 and all of those are complete with the light guns included in there. We have Batman on each side. And of course, God of War for the PlayStation 4. We have that collector's edition statue right there. And then below on the shelf right underneath, we have these Game Pro figures. And these are Virtual Fighter 4. It says Sega in the corner. So we have Akira and his different outfits. We have Lau and Jackie, and then of course we have this Gundam version of the PS2, and we have Nathan Drake standing in front, the Uncharted 3. And then right below you'll see that we have some more collector's edition statues. We have Soldier 76 from Overwatch, we have Assassin's Creed, some more Nathan Drake from Uncharted, we have some Tomb Raider, of course Lara Croft in the original packaging. We have Doom in the corner over there and Max Payne 3. And then of course at the top here we have some Mortal Kombat figures. We have Sub-Zero and Scorpion at the top. Those are actual bookends that came with one of the collector's editions. Then we move on down you see Batman on the left and the Joker on the right. And both of those statues actually light up. And of course, right on top of the stand, you see plenty of statues right here. We have Tekken, Street Fighter, Gears of War, more Mortal Kombat, God of War, Destiny, even more Batman figures, and Justice. Of course, onto this corner, I have tons of video games on this wall. The Nintendo GameCube games up here. And then, of course, it starts the PlayStation 2 and continues all the way through there. There's Xbox over there and the Xbox 360 games. Now, this isn't all of the games for those particular systems. Many of them, if they are still sealed or collector's edition games, I actually have those ones packed away as I don't want anything to happen to them, especially in their original sealed case. And some of these sports titles that I'm not going to play very often or at all, I actually put those somewhere else. That way I don't have to have them in my collection over here. I can go ahead and pack them away. That way we have some of the better titles here for the PlayStation 2. Xbox, Xbox 360, and GameCube. And then of course you'll notice that we have this Game Boy Color kiosk right here. And I actually have it on top of 
these two drawers here that I store even more original Nintendo games in. And then we have this Gears of War replica Lancer still in this corner right here along with another light gun right there. So we have this massive Gears of War replica Lancer and it's pretty sweet because it has the blood on here and it is about three feet which is pretty awesome to have in my collection. And then of course this stand right here. This hasn't changed too much. I still have tons of consoles and fight sticks on this stand. So you'll see that we have the Sega Master System, this custom Wu-Tang PS1, console, PS2. We have three GameCube consoles right there, a red Nintendo Wii, even have the Atari Jaguar, the Atari Lynx, three of the PlayStation Slims, they're all different colors. I have this Panasonic 3DO, it's the flat version. Then I even have this Neo Geo Fight Stick, this Telstar Marksman with the Turbo Express handheld, the Gold Star Panasonic 3DO, the Nintendo 64, Dr. V64, even have this console right here. It's the Video Art by LJN. Down below, I have the Sega Genesis Arcade Power Stick, the Sega Game Gear handheld, along with the Sega Genesis, Sega CD, Sega 32X, the Sega Nomad, the Coleco Atari 2600 module, the Coleco Vision, another module, and then of course these two retro systems. I have this Gemini video game system and this Hometronics system. We actually have this Batman canvas where I actually ordered this canvas and I stretched it across a wooden border where I actually went and measured and bought some wood to make this pretty sweet five panel Batman display. And then if we move on over, you'll see that there are actually two shelves at the top here. So I have some Legend of Zelda characters and Star Fox up there, which is actually hand numbered. And then as we move down, you'll see some Star Wars figure on that light up base. And of course we have the Bioshock. And then as we move on down, you'll see that I have that Amiibo stand. And then here you'll see my 55 inch Samsung LED Smart 3D television, which of course I have Marvel Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4 in and ready to go. So then as we move on down, you'll see that I have tons of video game consoles on this main gaming stand right here where I play most of my new gen consoles. And then I do have some older ones actually hooked up and ready to go. So here I have the PlayStation VR that I recently added to my collection over the holidays. So that is on the very left top. And then in the middle, you'll see that I have my Nintendo Switch dock and it even has the Pikachu light up dock shield and then on the very right you'll notice that I have a PlayStation 3 Slim and of course I have my sound bar that is also Samsung as well so it sounds really great for those video games and then the middle shelf you'll notice that I have a black Nintendo Wii a Super Famicom original Super Nintendo the original Nintendo. Then in the middle I have the Xbox One which is the black original Xbox One with the PlayStation icon lights on top. And then the very far right on that same shelf you'll notice that I have a PlayStation One Slim, a white Sega Dreamcast, original PlayStation One, an Xbox 360 which is white and a white Wii. 
And then on the bottom shelf, you'll notice that I have an original Xbox, which is black, a Sega Saturn on top, and a TurboGrafx-16. Then at the bottom, in the middle, I have the Mountain Dew Xbox. On top of that, I have the Panasonic 3DO, which is another variant, so that makes the third variant. And then I have another original Xbox, which is the Crystal Blue. Above that, I have a PlayStation 3. And of course, a US Neo Geo system. And then to the very right, not on the same shelf, I have the limited edition Spider-Man PlayStation 4, which is on top of some game cases where I have Super Nintendo games in the one, Sega Dreamcast, and some more Panasonic 3DO games in my collection. And then the stand next to the television is actually where I have my new gen games. So I have my Xbox, PS4, and PlayStation 3 games. Next up, we move on to my smaller gaming area. Now this is actually jam-packed with tons of video game kiosks, standees, cardboard displays, banners, and just tons of awesome items that look pretty sweet on display. So there is plenty of space right here to stand up and play some video games on these kiosks. And I actually have everything conveniently on a switcher so that all I have to do is press a button and everything powers up so it's perfect for those game nights. So here you'll notice that I have this Nintendo GameCube kiosk in the corner. This once again I got from a dental office and they actually had two but I was lucky enough to 
find another collector who wanted it, and then I used that money to get another video game kiosk for my collection. And then all around the room, you'll see I have a Mortal Kombat standee, this Injustice 2 standee, I even have some Rock Band items out here, and then on this side, you'll notice that I have my Sega Dreamcast kiosk, which is actually relatively new. It's perfect, it really looks great with these Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Game Pro figures on top, and it's perfect for this Sega display. Then I even have Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door standee right behind it, and this awesome Pokemon banner, which is huge. And then as I move alongside this room here, You'll notice that I have another kiosk. I have this Nintendo DS Battle Station kiosk. Now this is actually what I was talking about when I said that I sold my second Nintendo GameCube kiosk to go ahead and purchase this one. And it's hooked up with the two Nintendo DS's. It has some pretty cool displays on each side of this kiosk. And then behind it I have the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon standy and then right here I picked up this Xbox 360 kiosk this year and it's almost complete I'm still working on getting the complete television and bracket for this kiosk and a working Xbox 360 system to go ahead and hook up with this kiosk as it already has the controllers on here so I'll have to get this piece together and get it hooked up and then in this corner it's a little tight to see I actually have this Apple II computer with hundreds of games for this system right here and then in the corner I even have the Coleco Atom with multiple attachments and other Atari computers which are in the corner over there I just have to pull them out whenever I want to play and then you'll see this awesome Sega Saturn banner that I have up here. It says Sega Saturn a little too real and this one is one that you don't see that often so this one is one of my favorites as it's not all sport related. It only has World Series Baseball but then it has Virtua Fighter 2, Virtua Cop, and Sega Rally Championship which are all great and fun games that I enjoy playing on the Sega Saturn. And then of course we have this Sonic Mania statue right here and of course it's on the Sega Genesis so this is perfect to have it displayed right near this other Sega banner and then I move on to this corner so to the left you'll see this Magnavox quality in every detail light and this is actually authentic and I found it local in downtown Baltimore at a pretty awesome store that had tons of great vintage items and this was actually one that was used in a Magnavox store and we have the Suffering this pretty awesome standee right here which I have jam-packed in the corner and to the left you'll notice that I have Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens and that's a miniature standee with that PlayStation sign you'll notice that I have Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and then I even have that Game Boy Advance SP kiosk with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. And as we lower, you'll notice I have the Samsung GX television, which the doors actually open up so that you can see the screen. And those doors function as working speakers, so it sounds pretty awesome when you're playing those retro style games. Then I have an Xbox display platform. And of course there's my Vectrix system, my Virtual Boy, and a NES top loader. And then in that Nintendo shelf with Mario, I actually have a smaller Super Nintendo system as well. And then you'll see I have my Intellivision. And there are actually tons of games tucked away down there. I have multiple rows of Atari games right there. I even have another storage bin full of Atari games. There's some Magnavox Odyssey games behind the Super Famicom games. There's Atari Lynx game and the Fairchild games. And then of course I have this Nintendo Rock and Roller 
the menacer, and some Wii boards right there. And then of course we move on to a couple more displays. You'll notice that I have this Pokemon the Movie 2000, collect all 24 power cards. So these toys were actually featured in every kid's meal, which was for Burger King, so I do have that banner to match it. And then to the left you'll see the Xbox One Pip-Boy and of course a Call of Duty standee along with the Call of Duty game box behind there which has a drone inside. And then this kiosk right here is the Nintendo 64 Kid Space kiosk. Now it is a fully functioning system in there and I'm going to replace the original panel art that was at the bottom. And then on to one of my favorite pieces right here. You'll notice that we have this Sega store display and it says Sega new releases on it. And of course you see that I have some Sega Master System games in there. And then at the bottom it says Sega. So it was pretty sweet that you could go ahead and look at the front case and flip these around to the back so that you can read them. So it's a pretty neat way to look at these games right here on display. So this is where they would have all of the back stock of the games inside and of course the employees would be the only ones with the matching key for this. Next up, we move on to this arcade corner where you'll notice that I have three light gun arcade machines and one driving arcade on the other side. So here we have Carnival, Virtual Cop 2, Crisis Zone, and Nicktoons Racing. So let's check them out. you guys enjoyed my 2019 video game room tour video as you guys have seen I have my main video game room where I do most of my gaming at and I have tons of different consoles and games in that room then you guys have seen my secondary gaming area where I have tons of different standees displays kiosks and lights in my collection along with some more video games and you've even seen my four arcade machines and my miniature tabletop arcade machine. So if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and if there's anything that you'd like to see a little bit more of go ahead and comment below and of course check the description below because I'm gonna go ahead and drop my Instagram and Facebook page where you guys can see a lot more items in my collection. So 
Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.